Hi everyone, welcome to Tube Tech Astro Official Channel for astronomy enthusiasts capturing and documenting celestial objects with cameras and telescopes is both a joy and a fulfilling experience. However, the Earth's atmosphere and the light pollution often hinder the clarity and details of the images we capture. This is where the astronomical filter comes in as an essential tool to improve quality of our images. Usually, the astro filters are used to enhance the contrast, detail, and color of the images by allowing specific wavelengths of light to pass through filters while blocking the others. Normally, in astrophotography, we have two types of filters, and they are LRGB broadband filter set and SHO narrowband filter set. The LRGB broadband filters are very important and necessary accessory for mono cameras to obtain color images. They improve the contrast of the target area and highlight the details of the object. And usually, the broadband set is enough for entry level. Meanwhile, the SHO narrowband filters would add more fun to astrophotography when we become more experienced in this hobby. As we know, the emission nebulae contain rich but complicated narrowband emission lines, such as the dark red hydrogen alpha, red sulfur 2, and green oxygen 3. Narrowband filters would allow only the narrow ranges of wavelengths to pass through the filter and reach the camera, so they are most effective to capture the very faint details in the nebulae. Now, let's check out their 36mm and 2-inch filters. TubeTech Astro filters utilize advanced ion-assisted deposition coating technology, significantly extending the filter's lifespan. The filters feature anti-reflective coatings, achieving over 90% transmittance while minimizing reflections and halo effects. Also, with high-precision wavelength positioning, these filters ensure the true restoration of celestial images and the accuracy of data. This is TubeTech Astro 36mm filter. It has 36 mm diameter and 2 mm thickness. It can fit with APS-C format and smaller size sensors. Also compatible with 36 mm filter wheels from other major brands. These are LRGB filters in 36 mm size. Through the exposure of the RGB3 channels and post-synthesis, it can reveal a color-balanced, real and natural deep sky scene. The L filter acts as a red ultraviolet cutoff filter, passing most of the visible light with a high transmittance of 98%, enhancing the target contrast. The R filter allows passage of red light from 590 to 700 nanometer while maintaining maximum transmission of H alpha and sulfur 2 emissions. The G filter allows passage of light from 490 to 580 nanometer, which helps to cut off the emission lines such as mercury and sodium. The B filter allows the transmission of light from the 400 to 510 nanometer band, which focusing more on wavelengths of each belt arrays at 486 nanometer, such as the Horsehead Nebula. These are the SHO filters in 36 mm. Each alpha filter has a bandwidth of 3.5 nanometer and has a peak at 656.3 nanometer. Sulfur 2 filter has a bandwidth of 4 nanometer and has a peak at 671.6 nanometer. Oxygen 3 filter has a bandwidth of 4 nanometer and have a peak at 500.7 nanometer. And here we have LRGB and SHO filters in 2-inch size. 
they have 2 inch diameter with 2 mm thickness. 2 inch filter set normally is working very well with 4 frame and APS-C sensor cameras. The filter frame is made of high-strength aluminum alloy and it is super corrosion resistant, easy to handle and built to last longer. Also, you can install them on many of the 2-inch filter wheels in the market. These are 2-inch LRGB filters and the transmission parameters are identical to those of 36 nanometer LRGB filter set. Please note that currently Topac Astro's 2-inch SHO filters have a bandwidth of 6.5 nanometer. Lastly, one useful tip to distinguish the size of a filter. Hold a screwdriver or another needle-like object close to each side of a filter. The side with a double reflection should face the camera, while the side without a double reflection should face the telescope. Thanks for watching, we will update more content on astronomical filters and stay tuned.